So let me explain um, what this webinar is. Our company has been in business uh, for almost 10 years now. Most of our background has been in the chauffeur transportation industry since the mid-80s. And we've worked with hundreds of operators, anywhere from New York to LA, all the way up to Hong Kong and Australia. But one of the things that we've noticed is that in the past uh, few years, you know, people there are busier than they've ever been before. They don't have time to do almost anything. They're busy with their work, answering the phones, working in their business, like we say, right? So what we've done is we've created these webinars, everybody, to be able to provide information to people without them having to sign a, an agreement for six months that requires a lot of collaboration, joint accountability, training, you know, watching videos and all that. And, but also I want to thank our sponsors. Graphic Image is a company that has built over 50 websites for our organization. We have um, <clears throat> Livery Funding, which is a company that finances vehicles in the industry. We have Trans24, which is obviously uh, one of the largest call centers in the industry. I think just about everyone is familiar with them. Limo Connect is a software that's quite similar to Limo Anywhere with other features. Limo Hut is a limousine directory. And we sell limos for companies that, you know, have a need to buy or sell vehicles, right? So here we go. Let me go ahead and put the page down. Limo webinar series created for you, who we are, what we do, why we succeed in business since 2009, in this industry since 86, over 500 customers in five continents, over 400 corporate accounts closed, over 175 hotel agreements signed. Let me go back in here. So what, what is it that we're going to learn in this webinar? The first thing that I always tell people is affiliate work is money in the bank. You know, from airport transfers to road shows, affiliate work has been fueling our industry for the last uh, 20 years. And being able to work with all these customers, I can tell you, is probably the number one segment within the industry. A lot of people will also say that the rates are very low. Well, this is one of those things that, for instance, you're not obligated to accept a job from a farming company, right? If somebody calls you and tells you, well, it's $75 to go to O'Hare, you know, you can say, well, that's an unreasonable rate, but you can micromanage that. You can look at your schedule and see, well, I have a car going there. You know, I'll just make some extra money out of that. We had a very slow day. You know, I don't have anything. We're not busy at all. The, al the other aspect of it is that you're not obligated to take the jobs. If you do not accept a job, they'll go elsewhere. And if they go elsewhere, you know, they'll come back to you in the future. It's not like one of your customers that if you turn them down a couple of times, you lose them. The other part of it is that whenever you have group business, right, Let's say you're doing a lot of uh, inexpensive work for Boston Coach or Empire CLS. But whenever you have a large group in-house, let's say that you're doing airport transfers for them for $60 when your average rate is 85 okay? You have almost no margin. But 30 days from now, you have a group that you need 30 cars, 40 cars, or multiple airport transfers. You can go back to that account and make sure that they'll reciprocate. So now you're back charging your customers 85, and they're doing all the jobs for you at 60. So this is a very good way to, um, you know, to balance the, the inbound, outbound farm out work. Okay? Who are the top 300 companies that farm out the most jobs? There's massive consolidation in their industry. Boston Coach has bought, what, nine companies? Uh, we just heard that Addison Lee that had bought Flytime and also TriStar is now buying some new companies. They're buying each other. There's mass consolidation, right, which means that there's a lot less asset utilization. People are not buying more cars, you know. Uh, Royal Coach, man, uh, layers, point to point. These companies are outsourcing jobs all over the country, but they're not buying cars in different cities. So there's a lot more work. What is the secret to joining their network? Right? What is the key between getting or not getting the work? 
how to nurture relationships and move to the front of the line. Can you imagine trying to do business with Savoia or LimoLink when they've been doing business with a number of different companies for a very long time? So we're going to show you some of the principles that can guarantee that you can move to the front of the line and also give you longevity. And also how to join 3,000 affiliates with one click. We're going to do that for you. How do you find the high-paying affiliate work? We will also going to provide you a list of the companies that pay the most. And then what technology shall I invest to gain affiliate work? Um, once again, affiliate business money in the bank. It is estimated that 40% of all bookings are done by large networks. Uh, I can see that within 10 years, our industry is going to be down to five or six large companies like the, the, the rental car agencies. So it's no longer an option. It's almost mandatory, right? And it's going to continue to increase due to mass consolidation. What makes affiliate work attractive? You don't need to spend a lot of money on sales and marketing, right? Let GroundLink spend a quarter of a million dollars a year in technology. Let Empire, Less, Empire CLS have a huge budget. LimoLink has 15 sales managers. So if you don't have a big budget, let them invest. Let them do the technology um, advancements to be able to gain more business, and you can do some of the driving, right? You don't need to have a huge infrastructure, right? You don't need to have an office. You don't need to have a lot of people answering the phones for you 24-7. You can mix and match with your schedule, like I said. You may have a slow season, three months, just take affiliate work. It's a matter to make $10, $15, keep your drivers on the road, keep the cars moving. They're not making anything at all, right? Accept jobs when you're slow. You will never lose an account if you decline a job. Obviously, if you decline 20 in a row, it's one thing. Right? It's Uber proof because uh, there's a huge trend. Most of these affiliates will not outsource jobs now to anybody that has an Uber sticker. One, because they don't have the correct insurance. So you're not competing with Uber. And then, just like I mentioned, reciprocable rates for local and national farming. So once you get your own groups, your own corporate accounts, your large events, they'll do the same for you. Okay? You can also become a global company by using their resources. If you have a relationship with GroundLink, for instance, you can offer the services to any one of your customers while they're traveling, right? Let's say you take a reservation. You can say, you know, Mr. Customer, would you like for us to have a car waiting for you at all here? Would you like for us to have a car waiting for you at London Gatwick? We can accommodate. You know, we already know who you are. We have your credit card information. Boom. Extra profit, extra money in your pocket, and then you can give it to the same network. Let's say you give it to Boston Coach. You make some extra money. You take care of your customer. And all of a sudden, you can call Boston Coach and say, we've been outsourcing to your guys for quite some time now. Would you consider allowing us to become a vendor? That's another option, too. Who are the top 300 companies to farm out? Again, we're going to send you an Excel list with 375 names and contact information. Some of the affiliate managers, some are just group emails they provided us. And then you see Kerry, Addison Lee, Dave Allen, Boston Coach, TBR, Empire CLS, GroundLink, Music Express, Savoia, Drivania, Car, who now has 12 million customers in the U.S., um, and then also LimoLink. There are others, but this is just to give you some visual aids so you can understand. What are the secrets to joining their network? First of all, you need to understand what their requirements are. It's very simple for anybody to pick up a piece of paper and send them, here's our insurance, we have nice cars and we have nice drivers, right? But you get companies uh, like TBR, they require you to have a certain type of workers' comp. You know, you have a company like Empire CLS, they require you to have certain mandatory minimums. So. There's no such a thing as a, as a standard application where you just put all those things together and send out to them. You need to understand what their needs are because they're completely different. For instance, you know, different types of vehicles uh, requirement, right? People say, well, why do I need to have Cadillacs to do business with Empire CLS? Why not Continentals? I like Continentals. They're just as nice. Well, there are a couple of things that these companies will do, for instance, the reason they require certain types of vehicles 
it's because of the NHTSA, National Highway Transportation Safety um, Organization, right? You may have a vehicle that has a four-star rating. You may have a vehicle that has a three-star rating. And when these companies go out to a JP Morgan or a Fidelity or a Google to negotiate a large agreement, they will say, we only use vehicles that have a four-star safety rating. And that is the reason why you see that they have certain demands for the types of vehicles, right? Uh, as far as vehicle variety, these companies always want you to be a single source of transportation for them, right? They don't want to call you for a sedan, call you for an SUV, call you, you know, somebody else for a Sprinter. They want you to be a single source of transportation for them. Premium vehicles. That is one of the things that we've seen that gets a lot of corporate work. And we may say, buy a BMW 7, buy a Mercedes S-Class. And oftentimes, people come back to us and say, well, that, that costs us an extra $1,000 a month. I understand. But if you break it down, $1,000 a month is $30 a day. You know, it's 10 airport transfers. And if you were to get an account like Fortis Riders, they're giving preferences to whoever has Mercedes. If you were to get an account like that, would it be worth um, the investment of $30 a day? Of course it is. So you must consider some of these competitive advantages, right? And also, whenever you have a BMW or Mercedes, one of the things that people make mistakes is that they see, oh, this is my Mercedes. I'm not going to let it out for less than $300. Well, my recommendation to you is just run the wheels off of it. You see, everyone, I mean, if it's going to make you money, the more miles you put in the car, the faster you will be able to sell it to buy another brand new one. Onboard vehicle technology, right, that is very, very important. It's what we call achievability. If you reach out to one of these companies and say, oh, we're very safe, our drivers drive safely, we have insurance, okay, that is fine. But that's not a competitive advantage. But if you reach out to some of these companies, and I'm not only referring to affiliate work, and you let them know that we have cameras in the vehicles. Why? Because we want to make sure that our drivers do not text. We want to make sure they wear their uniform. We want to make sure that their hands are in the steering wheel, right? We have speed tracking devices that if they, you know, change lanes fast, if they swerve, they slam on the brakes, if they're going over the speed limit, we have a system that allows us to see that. That is what we call achievability, so that whenever you put in a CEO in front of one of our car, inside of one of our cars, you know that the odds are that he's less likely to be in an accident if, you know, as opposed if he was uh, um, using another operator. So that is very important that we understand um, what achievability is, right? That is how you win RFPs. This is how you gain their interest. Capability to join and manage affiliate portals. Some of these companies will tell you the most important aspect of a relationship now is managing their driver app. They need to have geo-positioning, uh, geolocation. They want you to press the buttons at the right time because they are accountable to their customers to provide that information in real time too. You know, So you will see that once you start working with some of these large affiliates, if uh, you're unable to keep track of their mobile applications, if you're unable to train your drivers to utilize them effectively, uh, inevitably you may lose the account, right? And then once you have that information, then we need to customize the presentation according to their needs and specifications, right? So next step here, um, telling your affiliates you have nice cars with nice drivers will only allow you to gain market share by lowering your rates, right? People know how to count. If I come to you and I say I have nice cars and nice drivers, that's fine. So is everybody else. If you cost a dollar more, I'm not going to use you, right? So you've got to create value. And the way you create value is by doing the things that I just mentioned, right? If you are reaching out to the booking room, just tell them you have a risk management system in place and then explain how, right? Tell that you have cameras in the vehicles. Tell them that you have a driver fatigue management system, that you have a disaster recovery plan, monthly safety meetings, premium vehicles, four-star safety ratings. So those are the things that are going to allow you to get an account. You know, we've seen this 
I call this webinar uh, No Theories, Just Proven Facts. Those things have been done again and again and again, right? Uh, you've got to create a training manual for your drivers to make sure that they understand not to uh, discuss services within the vehicles, to be discreet. That is very important to them as well. The other aspect of it that I always like to mention is that uh, in the past, a lot of times there's large organizations, there's large networks, there's large aggregators would outsource jobs to other large companies. Well, that there's a new trend that has changed. Uh, you know, a lot of these large companies are working with individual operators, with companies that have three, four drivers. You know, for some reason, I don't know, is so that the large companies cannot compete with them. We don't know the reasons why. But you don't have to have 10 cars or 20 cars to be able to earn quite a bit of money from these companies. At the uh, Boston Coach uh, affiliate meeting a few months ago, they were saying that their top affiliate earns $600,000 a month. And I can promise you they're not much better than anybody else. They just have good vehicles. You know, They meet the criteria. They have due diligence, fail-safe measures, quality control measures in place. Okay, so the next step is <clears throat> to create the introduction letter. Right? We'll have an example here for you. We'll also email you one. It is very important to complete the application. Keep in mind that some of these applications are a mess. They're 10, 12 pages. They're in Word document. It's hard to put that information there. And people get discouraged, and they will not do it. They'll simply look at the other way. Wow, that's too complicated, 30 pages. I'll do it I'll, you know, whenever I can get to it. And you know, by not completing the information in a manner that is expedient, to give them information back, to ask questions when you don't understand, you're basically you're giving up the business. So it is very important that you take your time, complete the application. If they want an email for payroll, you have one, give it to them. If they want to find out your meet and greet process at the airport, take your time. Very important to explain in detail. Rates. I always tell people that the best approach is not to provide rates up front. You know, if the customer asks you, yes, go ahead. If not, just see, you know, see what you can do to be able to work with their rates. Again, there are times when you may say, well, this is an affiliate job, right? I'm not going to charge uh, very much. I'm going to charge them $60. But in reality, they were ready to give it to you for $85, so you just lost $25. The same thing goes for overpricing it. So you can overprice or underprice. So my recommendation to you is that rates will be provided upon request. But then again, the real large companies, they will just basically dictate the rates, right? Vehicle pictures, I'm going to show you some examples. Driver uniform pictures is also important. And then insurance, a lot of times you can um, add their name as an additional name insurer uh, upon request as well. And then your local permits. Here's an example of a company that is in Florida. It's called RCT Limo. RCT Limo grew their affiliate business from $15,000 to actually $80,000 a month on average, utilizing our strategies. So I'm going to enlarge this so we can read it. So you see an example of what an introduction letter looks like. First of all, visual aids. You know. Make sure that it looks nice, it is pleasing to the eye. It looks clean, it looks professional, because that's going to be a reflection of what you do until they get to know your service, until they know how good you are. They don't have any frame of reference except the information that you provide them. So what is it that we wrote in here? Thank you for allowing us to submit our proposal. I'd like to introduce RST. We're a show for sedan and, and SUV operator. Our company works with a few local and national companies and understands the requirement of a good partnership. Look at this word with great benefit, partnership. We're a medium-sized company with nice cars and nice drivers also, simple language, right? We would like to be considered for your local farm out work. Our vehicles do not have logos, custom plates, and we will represent you using your signs and your logo. Here are a few. Uh, service that we offer to our clients. We answer our phones 24, 
seven invoices will be sent within 48 hours we do not outsource your work confirmations will be sent in the event of a problem we'll let you know we have reasonable payment terms again whatever terms you have you consider them to be reasonable we will do all we can to work with your budget we will reciprocate we're members of a local association we do not work with on-demand companies i spoke about that and we have an inventory of sedans suvs printers uh, if you have a large group come into the city six months from now, the Super Bowl, you can call us and we'll block vehicles. That's very important. And depending on your volume requirements, we can integrate using GNET or Driver Anywhere or a global distribution system software. So this is, will be customized by you. Um, we'll send you a template, right, a draft, but you will customize yours and you can send it out. Now let me go ahead and... Uh, and put this thing back in here. Here's also an example of a fleet description for this customer that grew by, you know, a ton, of, uh, a lot of money. Very simple. Sedan, Lincoln, black, 2018 capacity. And then the bullet points. All vehicles are standard corporate black on black. All vehicles are branded, free of signs. They are commercially insured and licensed. Latest technology are low mileage and, you know, maintained by the dealer. Average vehicle turnaround is less than two years in insurance. And then our company creates all the marketing collateral for our customers. So you can see that they have a very nice um, uh, sprinter that they purchased in the last few months to do affiliate work. Okay. Also, another example, we will be sending you a draft like this so you can utilize it. And then rates, same thing. You can see this was created in, in a word processor, this process in your computer. So nothing fancy. Right, capacity, luggage, airports, hourly, minimum, and then a disclaimer underneath the services you offer, the contact information, right? And also we created flyers for them. Those are digital flyers that can be sent, they can be printed and given to people at the shows, and same language, same um, bullet points, competitive prices, zero response time, customer service available 24-7. Here are also other flyers that we created for other customers. The first one is a company in Holland, in the Netherlands, right? So you can see the reach, obviously. They can outsource jobs to you. You can outsource jobs to them. The one in the middle is we bought, uh, this customers bought a few Mercedes because it was a big competitive advantage. Then we sent out this flyer on their behalf to about 30,000 affiliates, which is what we have in our database, just letting them know that they now have a Mercedes S550. And, you know, just a minor uh, price adjustment, and people love that. It's a huge competitive advantage. Now the third one on the right, City Star, that's a company based in, in Canada. And what did we do? Because of the fact that we're getting so much affiliate work, we decided to offer affiliate work out of bounds. Out of bounds, I'm sorry. So all the customers were made aware that traveling to Chicago, LA, or London, we can help. We are a global operator. So their customers started using them, and obviously they started outsourcing to other companies. And as soon as they did that, they were able to ask for the business as well. You know, we're giving you a lot of work. Would you consider using our company in, uh, in Canada? We talk about vehicle pictures, right? Um, big fallacy. People just go ahead and copy a picture or Google, um, you know, from the Internet or, you know, from um, – some of the trade shows, if you're able to get a picture of your own vehicles, it doesn't matter what you're making model. You know, make it pretty. Don't need a special background. What we want to show is this is something very authentic, right? Very authentic. So it's very easy for people to see this is a nice fleet, you know? This is not, these guys are not operating out of, um, you know, a garage. So this is an example. And now, now that we talk about an introduction, we talk about having the right licenses, the license, you know, the right insurances, um, certificates to give it to your customers. We're going to talk about our, you know, our, our uh, lead generation and sales cycle. A big mistake that people make is that they'll make a phone call to an affiliate. They send an email and they'll say, "Oh boy, it didn't work." You know, they never call us back. Well, what do you expect? You know, if somebody calls you one time you're not likely to give him business from the first phone call. 
So in the cell cycle, you will see that there's a combination of things. You can send them an email, right? And then within a few days, you can call and say, John, I sent you an email with that information. Did you receive it? Do you have any questions? Are there any answers that we can provide, right? And then you can also say, I'm going to send you an email now with our price list, with our fleet description. I'm going to send you an email with our brochure. Perfect. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to invite you to connect on LinkedIn and Facebook so we can kind of share information from time to time. Sure. Send out the email, right? And then after a while, you can even call the decision maker and say, you know what? We've been talking. You guys have been giving us business. Is that okay if we stop by? We want to show you some of our new vehicles. You start establishing that relationship, right? Um, you can track website visits to see if the affiliates are you know, coming to your website. As you can see, this is a cycle. It's a process. This has been proven to work for our consulting services for a long time, whether for you know, uh, promoting buses or corporate accounts or meetings and events. This is a very, very uh, complex and yet very simple to do it. Anybody can do it. It's going to take a little time to get organized, but your odds to getting a customer using a you know a sales cycle like this is four, five, six hundred times greater. We say that by sending an, an email, we may get up to three to four percent chance. You know, you talk to them, you're up to ten, fifteen percent. If you meet with them, you know, twenty, twenty-five percent chances of getting the job. And then if you follow up, if you stay in touch, it's just a matter of time. You know, they will give you an, an opportunity. Okay. Now, now that you've got your information in front of your uh, affiliates, right? what is it that you need to do? You need to be able to nurture that relationship so you can get more business with more frequency. You can have longevity. You can go to the trade shows and they can say, you know, ABC Limo has been doing a lot of work with us. They do outstanding work. And, and so why don't you give them a try? So you start you know, rubbing shoulders with some of those large companies because you have tenure, you have relationships with other companies, right? So some of the things that I always tell people, meet the operators in person. You know, try to go see them. Ask them, could I also meet your dispatchers as well? I want to say hello, right? If you're a large company, invite them to come over to your office. Tell them, I'll be happy to send you a sedan to pick you up. We'll go out to lunch, and then you come by and look at our operations. For larger out-of-town operators, offer to visit them. It's a very big competitive advantage. You know, you know the TBR, Commonwealth, um, um, let's see, uh, Boston Coach, they're all in Boston. So go ahead and budget. Next month, I'm going to take two days. I'll get in Boston in the morning. I go visit TBR, introduce myself, and then I go visit Boston Coach, and then I go visit Commonwealth. All of a sudden, you met face to face with some of the top operators. Will it be impressive to them if you do that? Of course, it is. You're coming in from another city. You're bringing a brochure. You're going to, have to meet them in person. So you got to be unique. You got to be different. And you can do the same thing for New York. You can do the same thing for LA. That makes a huge deal. Reciprocate is an easy way to get uh, to the top fast. Again, ask your customers. Send an email to your customers saying we provide services worldwide. You know, every time you have a booking, call them the night before and say, Mr. John, I'm just confirming the job for in the morning. We have an SUV for you. Great. Perfect. Oh, by the way, I noticed you're heading to Charles de Gaulle in Paris. Would you like for us to have a car for you there? We can accommodate. We know what you like. We have your credit card information. And then you give it to a Boston coach, and then you give it to them. And then all of a sudden, you, you can go in and say, we've given you a lot of work lately. You know, would you consider using us? And it's almost an automatic, right? Whenever you acquire a brand new vehicle, sometimes you can call the dispatchers that you're doing business and tell them, we just got a brand new Sprinter. Is it okay if we stop by and show it to you? Sure. Why not? Right? Send an email and thank them from time to time. People forget those things, guys. Everyone is so busy that they don't remember to call and say thank you. So send a handwritten note. You know, There are times when you can stop by um, you know, to bring some Starbucks in the morning or have lunch delivered. I have customers that are recommended. They'll call in and say, how many people you have in the dispatcher today? Oh, we have seven people. Great. I'm sending Domino's Pizza. Very unique. Building relationships, right? Invite them to lunch from time to time. 
send movie tickets. You know, you can send a note and say, you know, John, you know, you're always working late. I uh, appreciate all the business. Well, this is there's a new movie out. I hope you enjoy it. A couple of movie tickets, right? Meet with them at the local limo association. Meet with them at the shows. Make sure that you reach out to them in advance, not just at the show. Reach out to them in advance and ask them if they're going to be there or somebody else is going to be there representing their company that you can meet with them. It's a big deal. Most of the deals are done outside of the exhibit hall. They're done outside of the seminars. They're done having a cup of coffee or you know, dinner or something like that. And then whenever you have an, ad, you know, you're an incident, a lapse in service, the key is expediency, right? We all make mistakes, but nothing will make you um, gain an account and maintain an account more than addressing the issues, right? We're going to be 10 minutes late. Well, let's give them a call. You know, let's get to the bottom of it and let's fix it. How to join thousands of affiliates, right? Or better yet, how can you join thousands of operators for free online? There are hundreds of limo groups online, guys. Our company posts and uh, 44 groups between LinkedIn and Facebook. It is our number one source of business. So create a business account if you don't have one, and then manage that account. Go to LinkedIn and find chauffeur transportation groups. Go to Facebook and then find chauffeur transportation groups and start posting. WhatsApp is a big deal. A lot of operators are communicating using WhatsApp, right? But we're also sending you a list of all the top groups within the industry so you can join them as well. So now you are reaching out to affiliates. You will be able to meet with them. You'll be able to communicate with them by email. Once again, we're going to provide you a list of the top 375 operators, the top high-paying affiliates, we're going to be able to provide you with the templates so that you can create your own use and hours as reference. And you can always go back to this PowerPoint document that show you, shows you how to nurture that relationship. Okay? How to find and get high-paying affiliate work. The key to finding the highest-paid affiliates is to understand your market supply and demand. Right? If you are in Oklahoma, there may be a different type of supply and demand, right? If you are in Boston, the supply and demand it may be a little different. Why? Because in Boston, they may be operating Mercedes BMW 7s for a certain price. In Oklahoma, you know, an XTS will suffice. So you need to understand your market more than anything else. There are companies that offer road shows, concierge services, private aviation transportation. And they have these clients that have the highest level of expectations, right? They're arriving in a private jet, so they're going to charge them a ton of money, and they're going to pay you a ton of money. The largest uh, high-paying affiliates uh, are CLS, Empire, Savoia, Carey Private Aviation, Commonwealth, and another 40 or 50 that we're going to send it to you on this Excel uh, document, okay? What technologies to invest to gain affiliate work? We will also send you that list. The main one, as you know, is Limo Anywhere, which have their driver affiliate uh, platform with GNET, but we will send you that information. I do not recommend, if you're not part of anything yet, I do not recommend that you join anything without doing your due diligence, doing your research. But yes, having the ability to transmit data via a global distribution system, via uh, you know, an affiliate center is key. It's important because you can tell the, the affiliates, right? You can outsource it to us by using this type of technology, which creates a seamless process that's a lot easier to understand. Okay, and I'm going to close this with. Um, oftentimes people ask me, Bruno, what is the secret? You know, you've done this since 85 and been quite successful. We see the testimonials and all that. So what is the secret to being successful? What is the secret? How do you take a company in six months and grow their business from 15,000 to 80,000 affiliate work? How have you been able to close all these hotels? And I'm going to give you the secret, guys. And this is the secret that your competitors do not want you to know. The secret, believe it or not, is that there is no secret, right? The companies that are very successful are not always the ones with the best cars, unfortunately, with the best services, but for sure they are the ones with the best marketing. They're driving sales 
they're doing prospecting, they're doing lead generation, right, in a consistent basis. There's no magic to what uh, we do. There's no magic on what some of those larger companies do and why they're successful. I always tell people that success is the application of quality strategies day in and day out. Failure is the opposite. It's poor lack of judgment day in and day out, and all of a sudden you got yourself in trouble. So keep in mind that you will never gain a new customer from an email you don't send, a social media post you don't post, or a phone call that you do not make. The process is simple. Do what you can with what you've got. You don't need a new chair. You don't need a new office. If you're a single car operator, start targeting affiliates, which are easy. Start targeting uh, hotels. If you're a larger operator, sure, go ahead and participate in some of these RFPs with travel managers, purchasing managers, destination management company. Um, data is available everywhere, right? LinkedIn, Facebook, Zoom.info, GovSpin, you'll be able to find the data. And then at that point is to have a nice proposal, you know, nice marketing collateral, just like we show you the flyers. But this is just one segment within the industry. It's just affiliates. You could apply the same principles to other segments. Let's say you want uh, event transportation. Perfect. Gain the database of people that do events in your area. You can type in event manager and LinkedIn, and you come up with thousands. You have the right template that talks about event managers, that talks about logistics, transportation, groups, etc. And then create the right flyer with the right information, and then target them like everything else. Is a three-step process: is prospecting, which is the most important thing, not hard to find. Some people can buy databases. Second is to create in the right marketing material that has the right triggers, that has the right language, and then basically reaching out to them and then maintain a consistent follow-up process. And the same things that are applicable for affiliates are the same things that are applicable for corporations. For instance, there's a concierge, and a concierge gives you some work. Why not send them a gift certificate or a bouquet of flowers? The following day, everybody that goes by their desk are going to ask, oh, who is that for? Well, this is you know, ABC Transportation. Great. And then now you're building that relationship. You're nurturing that relationship. And then one day, you can go to the concierge and say, you know, are you happy with the service? Are you happy with us? Absolutely. I love you guys. Oh, could you introduce us to your uh, general manager so that we can tell them who we are and the services that we offer? Sure. Now you've got the decision maker. The same thing goes to an administrative assistant, somebody that's been giving you work for a long time. You know, once again, write a thank you note, put some movie tickets, put a Starbucks card, something genuine from the heart. You know, give to give. Don't give to get anything back. And just say, you always stay in late, so I hope you have a cup of coffee on us. Send it out. And then months, you know, after that, you can call them and you can say, you know, are we meeting your expectations? Are you happy? Of course we are. I mean, you're friends, right? I mean, who who takes time to send somebody Starbucks card? And at that point, you can say, you know, do you happen to know how transportation is handled within your entire organization, right? And they will tell you, oh, it's up to the travel department, it's up to the department, or it's up to the individual. And then we can go to those sources and say, you know, we have been providing services to some of your associates. This administrative assistant gave me your name. So we understand your protocol. We understand your criteria. We understand your travel budget, your travel policy. So is it okay to submit a proposal to become a vendor for the entire organization? Right? The same thing goes if they tell you, no, we do not have the um, the transportation here is not centralized. It is up to the individual. You can do the same thing. You can say, Mary, what would be the best way to reach out to everyone there? And Mary may say, you know, send me some flyers. I'll make sure that I'll get you information to everybody else because if you build that relationship, right? It's like a bank account, guys. You know, you take care of a client when they have a need. You know, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, snowing outside, and you're waiting for the customer. It's like you're building deposits on that bank account, right? 
and then one day you need to write a check, you need to ask for a favor, you have a problem that you need to apologize, you have credit on that account. So it's not complicated. It is simple to do it. And every once in a while, I, I will get somebody that tells me, oh, I have an account at the Four Seasons. My cousin works there. So I got the account, and they're very happy, and I'm happy for them. But you know, that makes me sad because if you happen to get an account because you have a family member that works there, right, what's going to happen? People are going to spend a lifetime looking for the same cousin, for the same friend, for the same deal. That's not how it works. It's the application of good strategies day in and day out. I always remind people, you know, at the end of the day, just talk to yourself and say, what income generating activities I did today? What did I do to grow my business, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same things again and again and expect things to change. They're not going to change until you change. Do what you can, you know, with what you've got. But make sure that you are a CEO of a company. Most people spend time working in their business. Great. You know, we do what we have to do to put food on the table. We will drive. We'll, you know, we will uh, take reservations, answer the phones, and that's great. But that is working in your business, right? That's going to be very difficult to grow. You know, be a CEO again. Take advantage of this uh, webinar. Maybe this will give you some incentives. And tomorrow morning say, today I'm going to work on my business in addition to in my business. I'm going to put together an action plan. I'm going to get a new affiliate. I'm going to get a new hotel. I'm going to follow the steps. That will change the outcome for you. Uh, sometimes people tell me, you know, this strategy did not work or that strategy. Strategies do not fail. Implementation does. People do not know how to do it, you know, and often they get discouraged. So this, is, I hope, is a good contribution for you. We will be sending you an email with that information. Now you're part of our family. You've joined us in one of the webinars. We have monthly webinars. I think the topic next month is how to get government and, and bus business. And we do offer private consulting services for companies that have a need for it. Uh, I'll reach out to you, each and every one of you uh, after this uh, webinar to answer any questions you may have. And then I'll move on. Uh, on our previous webinar, we had a guest speaker. He wasn't able to do it since this is a repeat, but I'll make sure that we get you his information as well. It's a call center called Trans24 that they specialize in the limousine industry. They answer phone calls. They place your bookings online. They check your emails. They do lead generation and also quality control. So thank you, everyone, for your time. It's now 1.51 p.m., and I'm going to end the meeting.